Okay, went to store day and uh, got correct size metric bolts to mount the torque converter to the block. That mounts uh, the driver to the driven. I mean, uh, what mounts one of the uh, torque converter clutches <laughs> to the uh, crankshaft. And watched old Tough Dogs, and he had his come loose. But I think he had the wrong pitch thread. And, uh, anyway. Yeah. And, uh, just want to do another shout out again to my buddy Grasshopper who gave me the 6.5. He used it in a build that had a clutch running to with chain running to a jack shaft and then on the jack shaft had a pulley that ran to the bank transmission horizontally and the belt twisted a quarter turn onto the transmission it worked pretty good but you know he kept having problems with the belt getting slack in it and stuff and and them old centrical clutches i think aren't the greatest too well uh, but he gave me all kind of stuff. I was going to try to clutch it first. I said, now nah, I better order a turk converter. But anyway, yeah, special shout out, shout out to my buddy Grasshopper. That's his CB handle. Yeah, old Slim Rich. Yeah. Uh, he's also on Southern Off-Road Mowers. Yeah, he's got some good bills. He's done some good stuff. Anyway, yeah, he doesn't post a lot. He, he started messing with it. YouTube and did half a dozen videos and kind of didn't do no more. <laughs> he just rather build them. And uh, yeah, I'll go over there and check out what he does and go riding with him occasionally. If you look back through some of my videos, you'll see us together riding and this and that. Anyway, yeah. But another, I want to thank my neighbor Jeff. Yeah, he don't get on Facebook or YouTube or anything, but yeah, man, he supplied me with plenty of metal. Now, that'll give you an idea how big, that's quarter inch plate steel, and uh, I don't know, some 20 foot pieces, square tubing, approximately, and uh, Shoot, that piece there looks like it's probably 20 by 30 or something. That'd be more than enough to do my motor plate. Yeah, that'll come in handy for some stuff. Uh, yeah, I might finish up uh, a little pot belly stove I was thinking about making out of a propane tank. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. I already started, kind of got started on that build. Cut the top out and all that, so might be just what I need to finish that up yeah anyway that's about it and uh there's another uh, ATV shaft it's off old 50's CC ATV yeah that I might use I don't know it's one inch pillar block bearings all kind of good stuff uh, <laughs> Yeah, he adapted it where uh, regular wheels would fit and sleeved and welded the ends. Yeah. And might wind up using that sprocket. Yeah, might weld it on the one I got. If. But we'll see how the gearing goes with just that one. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to use it because of the ground clearance and stuff. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all now. And then, uh, yeah, I did weld up my my jack shaft uh, mounts for my pillow blocks. They're not drilled yet. They're just kind of sitting in there, and I had to get uh, the right placement so the chain doesn't, you know, scrape uh, the uh, swing arm when the you know wheel on the frame goes up and down. Yeah. So anyway. Cause that that will change a little bit not much but yeah we're getting there and i'll probably take the shock off and i don't know i don't think that shock only compresses a few inches anyway 
So I think I'll be good. I probably won't bother with that. Just see how it does. Ride a little bit and see if I see any marks on the uh, <laughs> on the swing arm. I'll know if it's been scraping. But I'm getting long-winded here. So yeah, we didn't have time to work on it today. So just it was a good day to get getting stuff together though. But uh, one other thing, if y'all remember, my air filter is kind of getting in the way, and I want to keep that same air filter, I believe. Yeah, but I might have to go with a side air filter or modify mine to relocate it or something. So we'll see. Yeah, might be a good idea to shift the motor over. Then the chain won't have to go so far out the other side of the jack shaft. But we'll see. Later, y'all.